all the programs running on Leeds and my own ID. Command. Command. Save, Command. Changes. save changes. Changes saved. Beginning propagation to external servers. So you're saying Asia City isn't re No, no, no. It's real, all right. But all the adverts and tourist boards, a total lie. It's being plundered by the council, like a piñata at a kid's party. Hey, look who's waking up. Joey? Check out my new threads. But... how? This weird guy fixed me. Yeah, I went through your bag while you were asleep. Found my old cleaver in there as well. Thank you. But never mind that. I was monitoring your progress while you were in there. Looks like you nailed both our data problems. So my ID should be cleared then? Your ID. My access to Minos. Result. I thought you said Link Space was empty. It had a major virus. The Helix virus? That's still going. Glad I didn't have to deal with that. Late! One second, Poppy. Hey, where's her Bilby? Shh. I got the bill be away from her while you were in Nick space. <laughs> Managed to slip it into your purse without a note to send. Dump it in the incinerator when you leave. It's not a purse. It's a satchel. When I go, is Poppy going to be okay? After what you just did in Nick space? Absolutely. Anyway. I've had enough of this city. I've been planning my exit strategy for months. Just a few hours' time, I'm heading out of this happy, happy cesspool of fake smiles, spankles, and secrets. Late! And I'm taking Poppy with me. Get her back to her family in the Gap. Take her out of the city? How? I think I figured out a way to slip her U-chip past the system. It's a little bit of genius. It's all about the kudos. You think it'll get her through the city gates? I'm still working on it. But if I'm right, which I always am, I'll get her anywhere. Late, late, late! <laughs> if she can shut up for five minutes. What's the story on that distillery out there? The moonshine still. That's Jimmy's. What's the moonshine made of? Out-of-date spankles. Sounds dangerous. You're not kidding. It's practically weapons grade. So my ID is now clear? No blockers? No blockers. I hope you know what you're doing, by the way. Graham wanted his emails hidden for a reason. Of course, I can't patch his two-week absence. But you should be fine so long as you don't meet anyone from well-being. Does Mentor Alonzo count? Yep. What were you and Joey talking about as I was waking up? <laughs> Foster, you should hear this guy. He's a proper nut job. Says the droid with a god complex. That's not a complex. I am a god. Anyway, ask him about some of his theories. They are wildly entertaining. And by entertaining, I of course mean fascinating and informative. Okay. Theory of evolution. What is all that about? Where's the controlled experiment, right? Duh! Did I hear you say Asio City? Don't get me started. When I found out about Asio City, that was the last straw. What happened? You've seen the land trains. They're coming directly from Asio City. Or what's left of it. What do you mean? We destroyed it. An entire metropolis converted to scrap. And the people... forced into the gap. That's terrible! All while the people of Union City get fat off its remains. And the Council call them our allies. Any other conspiracy theories? The only way magenta can exist as a color is if rainbows are actually rain tubes. Think about it! Any other things I should be worried about on my ID? 
Only that you're about a foot taller than the original Graham Grundy. By the way, how the hell did his ID end up in you anyway? That's deep core stuff. It was transferred into my U-chip by a hacker in the Gap. Impressive. How long has this dude been a hacker? Not that long, I guess. She can't be more than... 14. Oh. Boy, seeing all this old tech takes me back. Haha! <laughs> Still the best, isn't it? I mean, sure. Reboots are fine, but they're never a patch on the original. Amen to that. Any other conspiracy theories? Tell him the one about the Minister of Aspiration. Well, I'm not saying conclusively that she's a reverse vampire, but duh, you only ever see her in public during the day. Any other conspiracy theories? Well, you know how everyone thinks the Earth is just a flat disk? Sure. Day one of elementary school. Well, listen to this. Globe. Boom! That's insane. Surely there can't be much call for old robot parts. Listen, I don't judge you. Hey, I'm not judging. My pockets are stuffed full of crap. Good luck, and thanks. Same to you. By the way, you never told me your name. Foster. Robert Foster. Drown. Joey Drown. I don't expect I'll see the two of you again. Everything I'd learned from Leet made me wonder. Maybe all along, Graham was one of the good guys. At least now, with the data blocker removed from his ID, I'd be able to look deeper into his life. Hey, Foster, where are we dropping? Back to Graham's apartment, for some good old-fashioned detective work. Lead the way! Graham's data was now unblocked. I hoped that would help me move forward. You won't catch me dead in one of those things. It was an old link interface, the height of intrusive tech. I had no desire to dive back into link space now. Leet's super terminal was quite a piece of reclaimed tech. Poppy? Poppy? Bilby! Were you kidnapped from the Gap? <laughs> I had the distinct feeling that I wasn't going to get many answers out of Poppy. Are you okay? <laughs> I had the distinct feeling that I wasn't going to get many answers out of Poppy. Bye, Poppy. Bye-bye! That looks kind of familiar. Look, I've got an aspiration brooch. I wouldn't go waving that sort of thing around, up here. It'll get you nothing but a black eye and a toothless grin. So Leek gave you a new shell? Sure did. And what can it do? I don't quite know yet. But it beats hanging out at the bottom of your dusty man purse. It's a satchel. I managed to remove a data blocker from Graham's ID. Well done, Foster. Think you'll find out more information on Milo? I hope so. I should start by seeing if I can access more of his personal data. Well then, let's go. Do you think Poppy will be okay? I hope so. This place isn't exactly a daycare center. What do you think of Leet? He brought me back to life. So, I quite like him. Although his dressing gown's a little... loose. I hadn't noticed. Did Lee do anything while I was in the chair? Not that I was around for. As soon as he had me to talk to, he seemed pretty occupied. I know the feeling. Bye, Joey. What? I thought I was following you. No, I mean... Never mind.
Old man Russell had one of these back in the gap. Pipes down here were quiet. No more fuel for the furnace now. The furnace was now off. How's your head? Tis but a scratch! This is your fault. I'll do you for that. You're trapped in an industrial crusher. I'm invincible! No, you're defective. I had to admire the droid's spirit, but it was defeated. Jeez, I need to be inside that thing. I wasn't going to get anything more out of Jimmy for a while. He passed out, which was probably for the best. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. Nice floor. Real modest. Looks like the other me was compensating. It was another image of Joey. Just as I remembered him. Clearly he'd made his mark. Nice floor. Real modest. Looks like the other me was compensating. Excuse me. Good evening, sir. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Please, can you open the windows, Chipworth? Very good, sir. You know how inefficient food actually is, right? If I was organic, I'd have swapped my guts for a battery pack years ago.
The gang gang clearly didn't like having her nest disturbed. The gang gang had a ferocious beak. I was lucky not to lose a finger. Here you go. The plants needed watering badly. Tempting, but I'd already had my monthly bath. Personally, I preferred an open fire for cooking. Rhythmic gymnastics, first place. Looked like these photos were taken by the city walls. It was my duster. Worn in, but comfy. Ah, the itinerant garbage worker look. Classy. Joey? What now, Foster? We can't get to the recycling plant without a waiver. You could make your own out of a convoluted series of unconnected logic and ambiguous found objects. I wonder if that well-being officer might be able to help me. Good idea. I've been saying for years you need to see a shrink. Any advice? Foster, I've spent ten years in a glass coffin. What am I supposed to say? Avoid poison apples? Thanks, Joey. Let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster. Anti-Hobart propaganda. Some things never change. Thankfully, Graham's mail access was restored. I hoped it would help me figure out more about who this guy was.
whoever unknown author was, had sent Graham an attachment for the holoplinth. There was one thing I was sure of. That was not a bonsai tree. Someone looks angry. The plinth was showing the toys tracking data. being displayed on the hollow plinth had changed. The hollow lens now projected fragmented data. Whoever had sent me this email attachment was trying to tell Graham something. But what? Someone looks angry. Hey, Joey. What now, Foster? Any advice? Eat. Breathe. And poop. Oh, and make sure you get an oil change every now and then. Uh, let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster. I swapped the lens for the broken one from the lockbox. It was a secret message. Aspiration Gala. Midnight. Be there. The Gala. That's tonight. And I need to be there. She's quite the charmer. I can see why he married her. Excuse me, Songbird? Oh, you're back. So you're supposed to go to this Aspiration Gala? I prefer the term destined. After all these years, finally a high enough kudos level to get me to high places. The Aspiration Gala? This is my chance to soar. The sort of kudos levels that are gonna be there. My social status will skyrocket. Sounds like fun. This isn't some kid's birthday party. It's about dragging myself out of the gutter and moving one step closer to the lower level. Can I get tickets to the Aspiration Gala? Oh, darling. You stole the wrong ID. Classic Foster. Graham wouldn't make the guest list? Not by a mile. He wouldn't even get the cleaning gig the morning after. Opposites attract, I suppose. Please. It was thanks to me that he wasn't shifted up top. And thanks to him that I'm stuck here. I really need to get to the Aspiration Gala. <sighs> what do you care? A little above your station, don't you think? Whereas people like me belong there. Can you get me tickets? Darling, even if I could... You're not exactly gala material. Compliment received. 
Why don't you run off and find Reginald, or that stuck-up droid of his, Tarquin? They might be a little more... charitable. I need to get tickets for tonight's gala. Like I said, you'll have better luck speaking to Reginald, or Tarquin. Bye, Songbird. Yeah, bye. She's quite the charmer. I can see why he married her. Excuse me, Songbird? What now? That's all for now. Yeah, bye. Hey, I remember these things. You always wanted the whole set. Weren't there four of them? Where's Captain Philby? He's the best one. Hey, I remember these things. You always wanted the whole set. Weren't there four of them? Where's Captain Philby? He's the best one. I didn't think Songbird would appreciate me rummaging through her things. Joey? I hear you. Any advice? If you're ever locked in a glass case, ask if they can put you by a window. Not much else, though. <sighs> Let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster. Ask him if the refrigerator is running. Chipworth? Hello, Master Graham. What's this about a celebration tonight? The Aspiration Day Gala? Madam Songbird is so looking forward to it. It has populated approximately 83% of our conversations. In fact, any time someone spoke of it, your heart rate would elevate and you would perspire, sir, heavily. Is that why Graham left? Is sir referring to himself? Or a friend, also named Graham. Do I have any friends? None, sir. Any idea how I can get into this gala? No, sir. But if I were to ever host a party in my cleaning cupboard, I would certainly invite you, sir. I'll bring my own bleach. Thanks, guys. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Please, can you water the plants, Chipworth? Very good, sir. Commencing spray. Please stand back. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? The piazza is the place for me. It would be my pleasure, Citizen Graham. Hi. It's most excellent to see you again, Graham Grundy. The pleasure is all mine. How can I be of assistance today? Remind me, where can I find Officer Orana? Officer Orana is currently working at the Aspiration Platform. Remind me, where can I find Officer Orana? Officer Orana is currently working at the Aspiration Platform. Thank you. Au 
Hey, Joey. What? What are we doing here again? Helping Tarquin with his pollen. Oh, yeah. Let's move on. Lead the way. Got a minute? For you, sir? I have all day. You sound just like that cafe droid. Barry? That's the one. Are you related? We did come off the same production line, and we do indeed have identical voice units. But I am nothing like that no-good, rusty, two-faced vending machine. Wow. I didn't realize droids could feel such emotion. Oh, I only have one emotion. Happiness. Have you heard anything about missing children? Oh my, that's above my pay grade. Are they social climbers? No, they were taken into the city from the Gap. Well, I certainly wouldn't have had anything to do with that. What do you do here? My name is Hollow, and it is my pleasure to serve the wonderful people of Union City on this glorious Aspiration Day. And what are you serving? Well. Social climbers can bring their aspiration brooches to me. And then what? I use this machine here to customize the hologram projected on the brooch. Isn't that fun? It's a real parade. What can you tell me about the council? Nothing that you won't have heard already. However, if you take a look behind my stall, you can catch a great view of the Citadel. What is an aspiration brooch? A special wearable reward to Union City's esteemed social climbers. Courtesy of the Council. Yes, but what do they do? The brooch permits entry to areas around the city, exclusive to social climbers, such as the Old History Exhibit in the Museum of New History. It also tells your fellow citizens how great at gathering kudos you are. Later, Hollow. Come back if you want that aspiration brooch customized. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch. Each city wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. Hooray! Another customer. Please scan your U-chip to place. The droid had been designed to deliver service with a smile. Hello. Hi there, citizen. Can you tell me more about the Council? I'd recommend speaking to either a reader terminal or taking a visit to the Museum of New History. I'll take a can of Spankles. Just scan your U-chip here on the counter and I'll bring one right over. See you later. You feel a thirst to come in? You talk to me. One fresh, premium Spankles. Please scan your U-chip to place an order. Hello. Hi there, citizen. How can I get into the VIP lounge? The VIP lounge is reserved for those with sufficient kudos. Let me scan your U-chip. Processing. Processing. Denied. Okay. So how do I get more kudos? There are many paths to kudos. Employment. Civil awards. Competitions. Good deeds. So, how much kudos do I need to get in? Hmm, let's see. You've got a lot of work to do, Citizen Graham. What's so special about the VIP lounge? Well, for one, it only lets in a select few. So, P 
peace and quiet. Peace? Certainly. Quiet? Not at all. The music in there is even louder. Why would they want that? The music is scientifically engineered to be both soothing and relaxing. See you later. You feel a thirst to come in? You talk to me. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Of course, Citizen Graham. Enjoy the view. And don't forget to aspire to aspire. I knew I couldn't leave my old pal Joey behind. Hey, Arana. Hello again. Wait, is that a new droid? Cute little thing, isn't he? Cute? Has it come to this? Of course. I'm never surprised by the efficiency of the Ministry of Comfort. So, what can I do for you? T seems to be having a tough time. I wonder why. Are you going to be here for a while? By the looks of things, yes. So? You really have some nerve. Talking to me after what you did? You are everything I was programmed to despise. T had taken this all very personally. So, you work with Arana? What's she like? Very capable. The same cannot be said for some. Surely you can't mean me. So, you work with Arana? What's she like? Very capable. The same cannot be said for some. Surely you can't mean me. So about that cleaning... I think you've done quite enough. Don't blame me. Blame the droid. Yeah. Why change the habit of a lifetime? Tell me something about yourself, T. I hate mess and everything that causes it. The gated area up top looked like some kind of VIP zone. The elevator was on lockdown. Not even my hacker could get me past this one. I knew I couldn't leave my old pal Joey behind. 